that tone, it's a real money in the room. Okay. Okay, um, OG Percy. Talk to me. Um, I'm not sure if, if you saw what happened, uh, but Boosie's brother, TQ, basically went on the internet um, to defend himself against Boosie. Boosie had been claiming that his brother ran off on him and um, signed a deal behind his back with um, Empire um, and Young Blue. Well, it came back to that Boosie's brother didn't know anything about the deal, just like Boosie said he didn't know anything about the deal. Young Blue kind of went and did his own thing, uh -huh. right? Um, but they're all under bad syndicate. Well, here's where I'm going with the story. Okay. So Boosie's brother tells this wild story where Boosie ran down on him and um, Boosie told the same story, but he didn't get, go into grave detail, right? He basically said he took 30000 from Young Blue's camp. Um, turns out the person from the camp was Boosie's brother. And he, Boosie hops out with a bat out of an SUV with a few other guys. Boosie's brother sees him, takes off running. They're in New Orleans when this happens. He goes to the car, grabs his gun, you know what I'm saying? And that's how the story ends. My question to you, OG Percy, um, how do you how do you, how do you rebuild that distrust from a broken family? You know, um, when I watched his brother's interview, Wack 100 asked him a great question. He said, "If you had one thing to tell your brother on a positive note to squash this, what would it be?" And he couldn't muster it up. TQ, huh. he couldn't muster it up to say anything positive. Hmm. How, how do we rekindle something like that? How do we rekindle? Uh, you, 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 what part of Bible were you looking for, Tim? I got a part for you. Talk to me. Cain killed Abel. Hello. I'm going to make you say something, Pastor. I step on your feet, yeah, ouch. Why I say Cain killed Abel, that means brothers been doing this for years with brothers. <laughs> I'm going to let y'all soak in there for a minute. Uh, it's not so, it's not, you know, hey. Uh, I didn't have flaws with my little brother before. Uh. I didn't have flaws with my big brother before. Hey man, um, I, the scripture hit me. How, how, uh, how can you love me, a God you've never seen, and hate your brother Brilliant. or your neighbor whom you see every day? Sometimes I think it's easy to do. If I got to see you every day, you get on my motherfucking nerves. <laughs> if I only see you every now and then, uh, I might can work with you. Right. Uh, it'd be the ones that's around you every day. It'd be the one, didn't they say it? it's the ones that's right up under you? Uh, how do you rekindle a trust? I don't know. I had a situation with a brother. Uh, I have, I have one, two. I had three brothers. I got some half brothers. Shout out to my brother Stephen, man. Shout out to my other brother Greg Ross, Stephen Spence, and Greg Ross. Uh, I never look at y'all different, but brothers. Uh, they know where I'm at, but I only see them every blue moon. I haven't seen Greg in forever and a day. Even when Big Brother got killed, Greg didn't come around or nothing. So, I mean, that, that I would ask him that question. Uh, growing up as kids, being around each other, and we didn't have the same um, daddy and mama, but we was raised around the same daddy and mama. Bars. <laughs> My daddy, his mama. Okay, but we didn't have the same daddy and mama. I let y'all soak in that for a minute. But anyway, um, I hadn't seen Greg. I used to try to get up under Greg. Greg was always good at what he did. He pitched the ball. He was a baseball pitcher. That's why I knew something was unique about him. Because he got to be the lead. He got to be the pitcher. I feel like the pitcher is the team. Is the leader of the guy. The team is pitching. Man, you get a pitcher. But I'm at home with him every day, and he had a certain quality about himself. We went to school to play football, and he, he made the, the A team, and I made the B team. He was good at what he do. Uh. Looking at Greg, if Greg ever see this video, if he ever looked at his brother OG person, uh, I always looked up to you because I always knew you were going to be somebody. Uh, I didn't know what you were going to turn out to be like, but I knew you were going to be somebody because you were smart in school and I kept trying to get smart because he kept passing all the classes. Man, why I can't pass? You can't pass because you can't read. Oh, my bad. I didn't know that. Uh, if you can read, you can get away with anything. My bad. You can learn anything if you can read. Uh, my brother ended up being a, a um, going to school, graduating, going to college, ended up being a high school teacher. 
Uh. Educating his life, you know what I'm saying? Doing some good. I haven't heard from him since. I know he's still alive. Brothers, being brothers. Uh, when Boosie jumped out that bet, uh, he wasn't thanking brother right then. Because brother wasn't thanking him when he got down on him. Uh, see, it ain't no fun. It, see, Boosie is in a lose lose situation. <laughs> you lose, you do something to him. <laughs> and you lose your money if you don't. And you done lost already. You do something, you lose all the way around. I mean, uh, people kick you when you're down, Boosie. You got enough legal things going on. And, and here they come. Oh, my bad. Sad to say, it's family. What the f you expect? Some new must be hooked up over there. Can you look around that corner to and tell me if one of them puppies over there with something? Just look and see if you see anybody messing with anything. Ain't nobody uh, messing okay, with anything. Okay, cool. Uh, I've been wondering why that's been happening like that. It might be the electric people still working on all these trees that have failed and some of this yeah, shit. Probably. My, yeah. my shit done popped off a few times. Um, it's sad to say that Boosie jumped out with a bat, but I got one question to ask you, too. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, no, nah, I don't. I got uh, Boosie one question. Uh, same thing I ask my dogs when I see them chasing a cat. Uh, so I'm draining this shit out of my shit. So you can cut that. Can I, can yeah. I cut it off? If you want to, we're going to burn up like a motherfucker. Yeah, really temporarily, I'm, temporarily, temporarily. Yeah, I really think I'm on some shit sweating like a motherfucker pig because Tony cut all the air off. Amen. Amen. It oh, sounds too just quiet. Like, <laughs> this is what I'm looking for. <coughs> it's too quiet. This motherfucker. Can somebody make dogs bark or something? Scared. Got so got quiet. This... Okay. Amen. Uh, now I know what I was talking about. I need some noise. Uh, Boosie. You was on Boosie. Boosie. I got a question to ask you. Uh -huh. uh, everybody thinks this when y'all doing Say, whatever you're doing, quit it. Uh, see, me and my big little brother right there too today. I see you. Uh, ask yourself this question, Boost. Just, um, you know, if you ever look at OG person, uh, and it's just a thought for anybody that's chasing down a loved one with a bat in your hand, a knife, a gun, a stick, uh, a jump rope, piece of water hose, uh, a broken beer bottle. I got one question to ask you. What's that? When you catch him, what you gonna do? Tell my crib. I got a call to my little boy now. I was raised in the household with me and my brother, and then we fight like we wasn't brothers. <laughs> I never lost a fight. Uh, we fight like we wasn't brothers. I don't give a which one you would. We fought like we wasn't brothers. When we take off fighting, we sh <laughs> You can swear, them ain't no brothers. They brothers? Yeah, they brothers. They fight like that? Yeah, they gonna, they gonna got me. Uh. I had, two more, I had two more sons to say that. I got two more sons that that gene was passed on to my kids. Uh, I got a call one day I was sending them out. They said, man, your, your boy's over here fighting. We'll tell your mama whoop that. No, no, no. She, they fight fighting. And then I thought about it. Oh, shit. They fight fighting fighting. <laughs> Let me go. I got to go. God, I got to go. What are mama? They mama at work. Oh, shit. And I came down the road, I jumped in my car, ran, went around the corner, had a house right here on Madison Drive, <laughs> right around the corner from this block. And uh, I put around the corner, I seen one of my boys coming down the street running. I seen one of them running. He didn't know that was me putting up. So I passed by him, and I seen another one chasing him. When he was chasing him, he had this in his hand. And he was out to him. And he was out to him. He had a look in his eyes to where I had to ask him that question. If you catch him, what were you going to do? You got this in your hand. What were you going to do when you caught him? That's your brother. What were you going to do when you caught him? Because I see it in your face. What were you going to do? And the sad thing, this ain't even Bible days no more. And Cain is still killing Abel. Every day, Boosie, I got a quick, what was you going to do to your brother when you caught him? 
Let me tell y'all something. Uh, I got I gotta take a uh, a player card from Boosie. On this one, I gotta take a um, I gotta take gotta take a piece of player card from you. I can't give you praise and glory on this one. Uh, I, I see something real fucked up about another man to go get some more men for his brother. I can touch my brother. You can't. So if y'all would have caught him, sad thing, I gotta say y'all. If y'all would Boosie, you was gonna let that, how you think? I don't give a fuck about your bank account. You can't pay to get your brother back. Even if it was 300000 that was took out? I wouldn't give a f I'm going to take care of that. These is not. Uh, they ain't going to do nothing that I don't supposed to do. They going to do what I want them to do. I'm going to do what I have to do. Uh, if I catch my brother, yeah, and I got to go there with him, he only going to get enough work that I know he can handle. Said it again. He only gonna get enough work that I know he can handle. It won't revolve to this. Especially if I got the upper hand. I let them stand around while I slap him or something. But y'all ain't to touch mine. I'm saying that to say this. Me and my brother might get into it. That's between me and him. So now when you mother I mean, that's what I thought brothers was about. Real brothers. Real brothers. I mean, I, I understand what's going on, but just catch him for me. Uh. I handle the risk. That's my brother. That's my brother. Yeah, bitch, you finna be, yeah, 100,000, come on, um, $50, I need that. What you talking about, boy? Give me my $50. Man, what you mean? Man, give me my $50. You tripping over $50? Cuz, give me my mother $50. I'm ready now, I ain't trying to play all this shit. Give me my $50, man. Do anybody respect the game? It ain't about the money. Did anybody forget about that part? It ain't about the money. The money. The money is what you thought about me. Mm. You know, style was a hoe or something. Style was green. Style was easy. Nah, you thought I was a lick. Nah, that ain't no lick for nobody. I'm like boosting on that. I know where you stand up, Bucks, but you gotta, you lose a brownie point when you go get other n for your brother. Nah. I told a story like that, because one day you might have to go get your brother for somebody. It ain't no cool when you send the shooter and the shooter gets shot. <laughs> Tell them a crib. I got to be CEO. I knew it. Uh, uh. Tim, we, we, we working right now. Uh, what you want to do, Tim? We, 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 um, um. Yeah, yes, sir. Um, we went, we, I just left Irving. Can you pause this, Tim? Oh, yeah. Probably. Where you where you was at? Let's go, I know. Let's go. Okay. If you if he catch you, what you gonna do to your own brother, man? Come on, man. Come on, man. Ask yourself that. Uh, I seen my son chasing my son down the street with that knife and I asked him, when you catch your brother, what were you gonna do to him? He was I said, oh, Oh yeah? That's how, oh, that's how you feel? <laughs> that's how you were feeling. And when the way he was chasing his brother, uh, when do it get like that? I don't know what they had got into it about, but I wasn't know, I know it wasn't over no $300,000. Why did I bring it up? It don't matter what it's over. I know it, God damn it. I'm gonna keep bumping it, I'm gonna keep beating on top of that TV till you get the picture. I'm gonna keep banging on top of your head till you get that picture. Yeah, but that's the antennas. But um, y'all wonder why it's gangs out here. Oh, another confirmation. Drop, drop the mic. <laughs> and when y'all wonder why it's gangs out here, uh, cause that ain't nothing new. Brothers been killing brothers. You understand me? But um, uh, sad thing about it, um, uh, I um. Uh, I thought times would change, and I be me show the right in front of my eyes. It got worse. When you say I think if things have changed, everybody always think it's for the better. No, everything everything don't change for the better. Uh, everything don't change for the better, y'all. Uh, tune drain my that this my day. Uh, everything don't change for the better. I I hate to see um. Uh, 
I need to get out on a nigga, but nigga like Bootsy brother, don't worry about it. It'd have been better if he just did a Bootsy mm. and um, just sacrificed it. <laughs> well, nobody knows. Um, Bootsy, quit putting yourself in limelights, man. That's called threat with a threat with a deadly threatening. You ain't did, shit, but you got the one. Well, jumped out with a bat. Get this mother. Well, well, you know, in situations that oh y'all caught me again. My bad. I had me a I had me a freaky one her last night. She, she loved it. You know, not too much wood. Not too much wood. She said the the scratcher was too thin. She needed a little more wood on her. <laughs> but anyway, um. Boosie, shout out to Boosie, man. Uh, it's too much paperwork. It's too many people looking for you to, to go this way when you shouldn't go that way. And yeah, man, it's sad that your own people f over you at the end. But that's something you should have known anyway. You ain't gonna hit the bars? Bars. <laughs> I'll finish, watch this. I was finna say somebody's daughter right then, but I didn't get the end. Oh, I know it. I knew it. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, I tell you that, I tell you that. <laughs> That's why I swear that nigga gonna count. What are you gonna say about his daughter? Well, you should have known that because what your daughter did. Balls, family ain't. You hear me? I knew it. Yeah, my bad. I was just that waiting was on bad. the mic to I, drop. I, 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 I seen was, the mic hanging. Yeah, it was hanging. It was hanging. But it was good. You, so you think his daughter the one that's wrong in that situation? You don't think he's the one that's wrong in that situation? He said he's going to take her out the wheel. He done reported Yeah, get that car. bitch out of there. Scoop my bed. I'm just thinking like Bootsy right now. <laughs> she don't deserve none of that? No. You're not going to get none of that. You don't deserve it. You ain't going to get it. If I was your dad, I wouldn't give you E motherfucking thing either. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let your smart ass mama do it for you, for now. I'm gonna let the one that you sit up under and disrespect me around, let her take care of you for now. That game is over, it ain't about, and she might got enough to take care of you for now. But one thing you gonna do, you gonna miss your daddy. Mm. You gonna miss your daddy when he gone. How about that? That's to the daughter. Uh, your days are numbered. Sad to say your days are numbered. Uh, anybody sitting around Boosie's daughter, uh, uh, watch out. She could blow up at any time. And I'm not talking about getting famous. Uh, once you do some shit like that, you become hot. Uh, spiritually. Oh, don't worry about it. I lost y'all again. Y'all must forgot what realm of life I live in. Uh, the spiritual realm. Uh, She's a bomb. Have you ever seen a motherfucker walking in and they pull his lip? Oh shit, everybody! Yeah, motherfucker. Well, that's what she is. Uh, you strap on them type of bombs when you disrespect your parents like that. You, you shorten your life. Now, I don't want to be around no short life people. Now, now, because, uh, watch being around because she could blow up anytime. You know how to be around and she have a car wreck. It was her time to go. Oh man, she got through through the front window. And, and, and Kel was with her. Oh, poor Kel. But yeah, short life. Uh, it's expected to come when you disrespect your parent. Don't worry about how you go once you take the um the covenant off yourself. Once you um remove the um the cover off yourself and um what y'all call it the veil? Is that a word they be using? Well, God you're say, using some words right now. You, God you, say using veil, them. whatever veil is. <laughs> when you ever take the veil off yourself, whatever that is. The, the veil is what the woman wears during a wedding when she has her face covered. Okay. And so when you take the veil off, you reveal. So. There you is. Hello. I don't be talking, y'all. I was growing when I let the man talk. Uh, that's a good one, Tune. Glad. Thanks for dictionary, Tune. Pass the Tune over there with the um the reading of the word. <laughs> Real talk with the reading of the word. Uh, yeah, when you take the veil off, uh, uh, you take all protections from off, off for you. You remove all the protection. Man, it's not no fun to walk around here without no protection. Oh, I got my strap. <laughs> oh, you call that protection? Oh, I got that Draco. I got that. What? I don't give a damn if you had a tank. You still ain't got enough protection. Uh, 
said this this morning to tell you this, man, like I told the people at the message this morning, you can't hit what you can't see. But it can knock you on your ass every time. What is that? That's that spirit. Keep wondering why they end up on that God damn, ooh, he did Johnny bad. Look at it, he was doing, oh yeah, he out of there. What's wrong with him? Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh yeah, he back in the mud. He down in Wallin in the mud. He just came. Ain't that, you talking about Jim Jim? Now, let's take it back before Jim Jim got in the mud. Hey, Jim Jim, fresh out, okay. No, oh, my bad. Let's say Kate. Let's, let's, let's say, let's say Swoopsy. Little Swoopsy. Little Swoopsy dragged away. She in, she in the paint. She doing good. Little Swoopsy daddy pull up with a pink motherfucker. Man, pink, that pink. God damn it, system banging. Here go your keys, wildlife, magic. She, yeah, it's all good. And then the ways of the world take over. Man, that man, cuz, he ain't nothing but a dad. He don't do nothing. Oh, you been listening to mama. Man, my fucker don't send no child support. He don't pay this for you. He don't do this. He sent twenty five hundred a month. Twenty five hundred. Man, you just you just walked out to a pink Benz though. What is that a Benz? What's he? Well, a pink Benz. What's he give him for a graduation? Bad motherfucker. Clean. With the key, you walk around the style. Yeah, we took it back to you. Have been flossing so long. You you said that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. Y'all fuck me when you do your hand like that. What do that mean? When y'all start doing that, they let me know that's, that's, that's a ratchet one. I ain't trying to hear it. I ain't trying to hear it. I learned that off my little nieces around here, and guess what? They now. <clears throat> I'm just glad they moved on. <laughs> I almost put the family business in the street. But don't worry. I just told y'all, um, once you remove the veil, um, you become um, vulnerable. Once you take the mask off, you can catch anything. Once you take the mask off, you can catch anything. Um, same thing out here, man. Once, once God take that, that hedge of protection off for you, uh, anything can happen to you. Uh, anything can motherfucking happen to you. Uh, I always do this on Tune Show, and they always say that. There you go. Tripping again. I'm going to always keep going. But anyway, uh, that's what I mean by the Boosie daughter, man. Say, uh, you out of there. She's a suicide bum. She's walking around here. Uh, he jumped out on his brother. Now, Boosie, uh, uh, family is family, but I, I can't say too much. Damn. I'm playing a little chess right now with myself, the Boosie family. I'm playing a little chess in my head with Boosie family. I, here go another move off the chessboard. Boosie, I really can't say too much or nothing because look how you're doing your brother. Oh, my bad. It's just another move on the board. I'm not, just another move. And then it's, I don't see a checkmate yet. I was gonna see it runs in the family. Maybe it's hereditary for families to treat each other like that. Maybe that's how they was brought up. Uh, maybe don't nobody know better. Maybe everybody just grown for nothing. <laughs> or the kids get it though. Tune got me sweating like I didn't been down the wrong soul train line. <laughs> but I haven't. I ain't started partying yet, boss. Uh, but anyway, uh, there's still some decent families out here in the black communication in the community. Uh, I hate thinking that the Mexicans are the only people that's family oriented in the Chinese. Uh, for some reason. We wonder why our kind don't get along, because look how our kind do each other. I'm talking about each other. <laughs> yeah, and, and with Boosie, it's on full public display. Yeah, it's sad. It, it's, it's only sad to me because it's not he's gonna... not the only one. Oh, no, You know no. what I'm saying? No, Boosie just have to be, having to be in the public eye. Do you know what I'm up? What? What? You're not, what, what Boosie ain't, Boo, that's weak. What's happening in the Boosie weak? Pull the Menendez twins on some of these people. Oh, my bad. Who, who are the Menendez? Don't do that. We know them all coming in and kill their parents up like that. Mm. I'm just saying. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm my bad. The Menendez brothers, the dirty right, get in there and boom, 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 boom. 
the parents. Tell my crib, I was on Ferguson. Made my boy Homie Lee remember these two Mexicans. Homie Lee, uh, you can um, refresh it on two. Remember, there was two Mexicans on Ferguson. They was twin brothers. These motherfuckers played with me for damn near three months. Son of a bitch. I could have swore it was just one. I said, cuz then I just. And what had happened, these motherfuckers got jobs in the kitchen where I worked at. And they were f with me, man. I didn't know, I think it's just one motherfucker. Every time I turn around, this motherfucker said, cuz, and I just, I just sent you over there somewhere, didn't you? When you over there on the other side? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, telling you, I'm tripping. How did that motherfucker get over here that fast? I was just. <laughs> then one day they did a count time, and I caught them some of a bitch. I said, oh, it's two of you mother, oh, you riding mother. They started laughing, giggling. They knew that they had been with me. They doing prison time. Just run your game, have fun. Stick right here and say, yeah, man, it's two of us. I said, you mother jump on both of you little motherfucker. That motherfucker wasn't no bigger than five, five, I mean, five, four. Like my bad. Four, four. <laughs> I just got that look. Two of these motherfuckers look just alike. Leave just, your head where the fox at. Huh? Yeah, a little bar. Uh, I hear you. I got you. And then I say, both y'all motherfuckers in there? I say, y'all brother, y'all brother twin? Yeah. Y'all say, he said, yeah, we stay in the same cell. Man, that's cool in a motherfucker. I mean, it ain't cool because of the circumstances. We in prison, but it's good God. How both y'all? They said it like it wasn't shit. You know, I'm going to have a a Mexican. Me and, you know, and a white boy I'm in prison. That's just my way of thinking. Because uh, don't, don't say that person, because guess what? When you go there, you're going to find out they say the same thing about you. <laughs> Brother, man, fuck <laughs> that. White boy said that. that. But I asked them two white little boys, well, I said, what, man, what y'all do? And then see, we killed our parents. Like it wasn't shit. Oh, y'all thought I was going to. Tune already told me I do go around the goddamn block to get back to the corner. <laughs> uh, they killed their parents. Both of y'all mo, yeah, we killed them. And they said it like it wasn't shit. Huh. Honor thy mother and thy father so thy days upon the land of the living will be longer. That's just a little something for you people that don't know how to fight in the spiritual warfare that's going to lose at the end that some of y'all youngsters that disrespect your mom and your dad's like read about now and I'm not going to even put it all on dads and moms. Some of you parents that's doing your kids dirty. Oh, y'all know y'all is. Yeah. Yeah. Some riding parents out here, man. Riding motherfuckers, man. Riding dirty motherfuckers. Some riding people out here, homie. Ask me how I know. How you know, OG? Man, I just seen a video the other day where the parents was keeping their kids in a motherfucker dog cage, but they couldn't even stand up in this motherfucker, and they were squatted down in this motherfucker, and they had a padlock on the motherfucker, man. These two kids had been in that motherfucker, they couldn't even stand up, they had been poked, pinched, poured hot water on and everything, man. In a dog cage, man, you motherfuckers, both of you hoes need to be put on a firing squad and shot dead, man. They said them kids been in there like two or three months like that, man. Imagine you can't raise up, but you got to go to sleep, and they just got you in a dog pen, man. They need to ban them motherfuckers, man. I don't fuck the dog pen. Y'all see, my dogs don't got no ceilings. They in a pen. They don't got no ceilings. It's not no room. They got enough room to walk around, but imagine sticking a child in one of them that, that's old enough to stand up, and he got to squat down and get in there, and you leave him in there. Two and three weeks, can't stretch his arm, can't lay down, can't. And you got two crew parents in there looking at y'all in the cage, spitting on you, hitting you, doing you, doing you dirty. But God, but God, sent an angel to the door. Somebody said they seen a little kid peeking out the window. The parents ain't been there. The kids went open the door. The laws, the kids, when nobody come to the door. 
then they pulled the oldest trick in the movie. He said, your mom and dad told us to come to check on y'all. The door opened. Turned around, they looked in there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Get, get, God. Get CPS, FBI, police, everybody here. Oh my God. Get them God kids. We got to hurry up, get a padlock, get a cutter. God Jim, get the cutter. Get, cut the God Cut the locks off the motherfuckers, man. Look at this, man. You gotta be kidding. Why I'm talking about that? Because I'm cut. We can't blame it all on the kids. Don't worry about it, Tim. Thank you. We can't blame it all on the kids. Uh, everybody saying these some disrespectful motherfuckers these days. Everybody disrespectful. Everybody was sh. Uh, the way that, that motherfucker swinging, it goes both ways now. Uh, I don't know who to trust. Hello! But God. Oh, OG Percy. Talk to me. I just wanted to take us to Ferguson Unit. One more time. We're going back? Back to the bars. All um, right. All right. Before we get to Ferguson Unit, okay. can you take us all the way back to when you were on the transfer unit? And you got... <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. The who? The transfer unit. The unit that you're on before you get the news of where you're going to be stationed. Where uh, you're going to do your time. Okay. So... When you got the news, walk, walk us through getting the news that you were gonna be on Ferguson Unit. Tell them a crib. I was in the hot, I was in the burning hill. No, not Clements. Uh, Clements is known as the burning hill. No, I wasn't there. What is this, August? Shh. This is the hottest month. This is the hottest month of the motherfucking year to get caught. Uh, in the burning hill. Uh, I realized prison was hell when I went to the place I was finna go to get my news. I'm on my way to Ferguson. It's one of the best places you can, well, ain't nothing best about it. It's where everybody go before they go to prison. Everybody. I don't give a damn what transfer unit you on, what um, Hutchinson. I didn't been on Hutchinson. I didn't been on, I didn't been on Hutchinson unit. I done been on um, Gurney Unit. I done been on Gwarie Unit. I done been on um, 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 Militant Unit. <laughs> yeah. I been, on, I been on the butt naked, the butt naked Gurney. Um, one thing about me, once you've been confirmed in the system, you don't stay on the little units like that long. Now, these are the new. They, um, they don't, um, they know what they don't know. They don't know like you know, you confirmed. I was confirmed. I did nine months, I did like eight months on Middleton, about six months on Middleton. Uh, transfer unit is a two year marriage before you even go to prison. You think they gonna go to, get locked up, go to jail and go to prison? No, you don't. You gonna stay two years on a transit unit before you even see a prison tank, before you see an ID unit. Oh yeah, they got other units to hold all over this motherfucker. They just sit there and hold people for two years for nothing until you get ready. Are they just breaking you? They just getting you ready to go to the big house mentally. Uh, I went to the best motherfucking in the world. It's called the rodeo show. Yeah, you heard of the rodeo show? Hey, you ever heard of a prison that do a whole fucking rodeo with real birds, cows, and motherfucking ain't nobody doing all the riding the horses but the inmates bucking and shit? Well, tell them a crip down in Huntsville, Texas. Better known as the diagnostic unit, better known as the bird unit. Oh yeah, y'all looking at me like I just really I been. Now, now y'all know. Now, now me, don't worry about it. My first number was fifty five seventy twenty three. Yeah. I'm say it again. My number was fifty five seventy twenty three. You tell me when I went to prison. That's what you do. For all you shugs and. Shoes and all y'all way before y'all even see them up jail cell. Hello! It don't matter because you sit there so long to make you somebody. You sit there that long, they just let me know how much life you behind you didn't waste it. But anyway, I, God, bird unit. 
I went to the bird unit, uh, better known as Huntsville. One of the places where they're gonna teach you. Hey, you know when people that come home from prison eat fast? Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Ask me why. Why do they do that? Because they've been to the bird unit. <laughs> they are trained to eat fast. And you will learn to eat fast on bird unit. The first place I learned how to eat fast. What is fast eating? Uh, let me give you a full meal and tell you you got five minutes to eat this full meal. Well, they give you a full tray and tell you got five minutes to eat that full tray. Uh, guess when your five minutes start? Uh, soon as that tray touch your hand and you head it to the table. One thing about bird unit, you don't got no time to talk, no time to relax or nothing. All you're going to hear is, next, get up. Get up. I kept hearing that. Up. Okay, God. They ain't still coming. Oh! So some told me to turn around and see what the f going on. When I turned around to see what the f going on, there was a man with a cup in his hand. He was walking by tapping every table, telling everybody, get up. Get up. Go. Go. Get up. And you would see with their food in their hand going to the table, still eating, trying to get the little shit off their tray. Because <laughs> they ain't learned yet. They ain't how to learn. So they won't sit down and talk to their homeboys and say, yeah, cool. But, you know, Y'all just got it. Up. <laughs> the cold thing about it, when you sit down, guess how many tables away he is? Three or four tables away. Huh? So, hurry, he, he, he finna tell us to get up till we just sit down. Up. Huh? So, you no, know, when you get there, you sit, you sit, you, then you eat. Here he comes. I got so good at that shit, you know, I be watching. Got him. Got him today. Up. Get him up. You learn how to eat fast. Uh, I went to bird unit, man. I went inside the uh, the office to get my paper. And my paper had a, uh, an F on it. I think it said an F E on it or F U or something on that motherfucker. And uh, it's called classification. And everybody had a long line. About like about thirty of us. 30 of us in a line waiting to go into the little office to see somebody and they come out with their paper, tell them where they going. I went in there, I came out with my little motherfucking paper, told me where I was going. Uh. I said, I got an F, a F, a F, E on her or something like that. They said, oh, you going to Ferguson mm -hmm. unit. Ferguson unit? Damn, I'm going to the big house. I'm going to Ferguson. I'm going to the mother. Big house, big house, for real. Oh, shit. Well, let's go then. I worked all my life to get into the best colleges in the world, and I finally made it. I did everything about a book to get to the best college I wanted to go. Now I got to get my own. I, got, I made it to Penn State. Oh, my bad. State Penn. I'm finally here. I wish I could have went to Michigan. Hello! But that ain't the college that chose me. I ended up going to Penn State. Uh, Ferguson unit. Did you hear about Ferguson before you came My to brother went to Ferguson for all you did as captain. My brother was on Ferguson with Hollywood in 84, 86. Yeah, Hollywood, you didn't know that, did you? I'm gonna let you soak in that for a minute. AD. Yeah. Like it was only one AD, it was only one Hollywood. Well, it was only one AD Hollywood. That was my big brother. Square Business, 86. Big Ride, Child Hall, Mexicans did, niggas did. Shanked up, everybody got shipped to Cofield. See, only people that know stories like that that been around the real. You understand me? I heard all you niggas do all these cabins and stories, but um, I said 86. Hmm. For all y'all, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, where were y'all, were y'all, 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 other cats was just born, what, um, fifth, fifth grade or some shit like that? Yeah, shit like this. I said 86. My brother, we was all, we, yeah, big brother was already on Ferguson, rocking. Eighty-six. He did one year in the he did one year in the county and, and yeah. He was in eighty-six. 
they had a big ride on Ferguson. Go back to around 86, the big ride around 88, around, around, around 87, 88, the big ride they had on Ferguson. They shipped everybody to Durrington and Cofield. Yeah, yeah, my big brother was in that. Oh, there with you, Hollywood. Yeah, square business. But don't don't worry about it. I know you sitting there saying, oh, that's your brother, A.D., man. Then you, nah, don't worry about it. But when I hit, I hit, I jumped on that bus, man. I was headed to Ferguson, man. It's time to go on. It's time to go to college, man. I got my degree. I graduated. I'm on my way to the um, a higher learning. I'm on my way to a higher learning. Uh, straight up. How'd you feel when that bus arrived to the Savage Drive? Hmm. Um, I, I've never been nowhere exciting, like you know, uh, like the, you know, Six Flags or Walt Disney or something. You know what I'm saying? I've never been nowhere like that. But um, I used to always see commercials and shit, and I feel like uh, it's time to buckle down, person. Uh, any nigga that got something on their mind. Uh, to say this place might be what they told me it was about. Don't worry, you finna find out now. It's too late to say I ain't tough no more. It's too late to say uh, ain't nobody gonna do nothing to me no more. Uh, all that shit is out the window. You heard now. That back gate rolls. That bus come in there. Uh, if your way of thinking is still the same, you're in trouble. Me, I was always quiet. Let's sit back a little. See what the going on in this bitch. <laughs> if I entertain, um, say anything, I don't talk to nobody. Look at me like, yeah, cuz you be, cuz. That's how I look at him. You see that? Mm. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Where, where you from? Man, shut the fuck up talking to me. That's one thing about Percy. Uh, <clears throat> if I didn't strike a conversation with you, I didn't want now. Don't talk to me in prison. I came through the door like that. Not on tough nigga shit. It's just that I'm scared. I got butterflies in my stomach. I'm here now. Uh, mama told me I was going to prison. <laughs> Daddy told me if I don't stop doing what I'm doing, the people gonna put me away. Uh, and then they didn't show me. Uh, it's a different world, man. It's like walking into a, you know, a, a circus or arena or something. Like the gate open. Wow. But ain't no wow. It was a wow for me. Why was it a wow? Cause when I wow, when I walked in the door, I seen a mattress burning on the top of the ceiling, hanging in the window, hanging out the window, and it was on fire. My first, as soon as the door opened, and I was introduced to the long, the mile long hallway. Uh. You know, niggas want to be a uh, good cop, tell the boss shit, shit like that. Uh, I heard him say, say, excuse me, boss man, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, look, it's fire up there. He said, mind your goddamn business. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm in prison. <laughs> I'm in prison. I'm looking at this magic burn. He told that nigga, that nigga try to be all kiss-ass Mr. Police. Mr. Police is... is Matches, but he told him mind his motherfucking business. And we just turned around. I said, I said, shit. I said, yeah, this prison. And then all of a sudden, everybody was coming down the hall and two niggas weighing up on me. I said, look at oh, you just got here or something? You just got here? I said, yeah, what's up? He said, nigga, we doing a whole lot of fighting over here, nigga. I said, that's what's up. He said, yeah. yeah. He said, we doing a whole lot of fighting over here. Nigga. I said, that's what's up. And then them niggas walked out.
I turned around the nigga on the side of me. I said, you ready? He said, oh, hell yeah, I'm ready. I said, yeah, this motherfucker real. <laughs> and then he ran right up on me and told me, guess what, Tom? What happened? That day them niggas ran up on me. In that hallway, when I got to Ferguson, with my chain bag still in my hand, I said to myself, I ain't gonna let never let nobody else run up on me like that no more. I feel like I had, coming through the door, I feel like I had lost something. Real niggas know what I'm talking about. Cause them niggas coming to take that. Ferguson is a place where they can smell weakness. Uh, come to find out, them two niggas, them, them what you call crash dummies. They'll crash you out in that hallway. <laughs> you are trapped on that floor. Yeah, they run up on you like that, they'll crash you out. Better not say nothing, you better be smart. And don't show no sign of weakness. Or they got them one. They're gonna let the block know. There's a new dark one. Yeah, that's me there. I ran up on the end. You, know, you better let them know. You I told them straight up. And for some reason, I feel like I had got some snatch coming through the door. I had to get it back. I had to get it back. I'm, I'm losing already. You can't come through the door losing. What am I losing? I've lost a piece of pride. I'm tough. They're gonna run up on me. Look at me, who the gonna run up on me? Them if them niggas ran up on you, just guess how many more gonna run up on you? Oh, what? Uh, I made it my business. Never let nobody run up on me again. And I didn't. I did all the running up after that. When I got to the block, I felt like I had lost a piece of something, so I had to get it back. So, uh, I want to know to myself, as, my, as a man for myself, that don't evaluate, you know, I need to know that I'm square business in here. And I'm going to be that. I got to get that back. So the boss man said, go to your block, change up, and then come on downstairs and get ready for child. He said, stay in your cell, get your cell together. Then come in. I said, nah, I went and threw my shit on the bed. And I ran back downstairs. I didn't even pack up, pack, take nothing out of nothing. Looked around, I didn't see this. I said, say, look at it. what's up, cuz? What's going on here? He said, what's up? I was talking to a nigga named Reggie, 6 old Reggie out of Dallas, Trey 5 7. I mean, 6 old Reggie out of Dallas. I don't know where the fuck you from. I'm finna say Dixon Circle, but he wasn't from the circle. But he was Trey 5 7, Reggie. Uh. He had the boom in his hand, he was the SSI. I didn't know who he was at the time. I don't know if he was the big. He had the boom in his hand, he, two pick come to find, he was a, a cross out there later on, but he had that role. So I walked up and I said, what's up, huh? I said, what the Crip said in here? He said, what's up, you a Crip? I said, yeah, I'm Crip, what the Crip said? He, he said, Shit, I'm six up, what's up? I said, where the check at then? He said, what's up? I said, where the check at? I'm trying to get my check out the way right quick. He said, man, man chill out. He said, we don't do that shit over here, man. We ain't doing it. What you mean? What you mean? Some just ran up on me in the hallway. I'm thinking, what a check is. See, one thing about it, I'm going to check you. You. With the broom, you. Oh, no, nah, man. You tripping, man. Hey, chill out, nigga. <laughs> Where you from, huh? Where you from? From Fort Worth. Yeah, from Fort Worth. Chill out, man. Chill out. 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 Chill Man, we don't do that over here. Where you from, Forward? He said, your people in there. What you mean my people in there? The Forward right there. Oh, my bad. I just got here. I might don't know the rules. Maybe I talk to the, uh, Who from Forward? You know Mun? No. Uh, you know Shug right there? No. That's Nate, boy. You know them? KB? So you know them? I don't know none of them. I don't know them. And Forward Crips, I don't know none of them. That's it, I'm telling them that in their face. Now I don't know them. So I went and stood on the back and just looked. The neighbor name sounded familiar, and I said, neighbor, I know a neighbor. So I said, look at it, neighbor. He said, what's up? I said, yeah, I said, yeah. I said you from Polly? He said, yeah. Neighbor, I said, you still have a He said, yeah. He said, you know me? I said, yeah, I know you. Where you know me from? I just told you. You still have a I didn't know you bald headed in her. I ain't seen you since you was a young. Yeah, I've been down here 12 years. Uh, 
The next day, me and Nate was in that paint. Yeah, we was in that paint the next day. Come to find out, Nate wasn't here by like 32 fights already. And they said, that's all Nate boy do is fight. Well, guess what? That's good on my record, right off the rip. Got one that be looking for it. Got him. And, and that's my Nate boy. Right now to the day, Pollywood, PWC, Bitical Block. What y'all saying? Yeah, bit of a boy, Nate boy, my nigga, a gangster. Shout out to Nate boy, because he's still out here. You didn't even go back. And you terrorizing him in the penitentiary. Terrorizing him on Ferguson. Why did you and Nate boy fight? Because Nate boy said I was in the gym shadow boxing. I was over there testing my hands in the gym. I'm over there rolling, rolling, swooping, swooping, dipping. And I'm trying. No, my bad. It didn't look like that. I was doing this. Neighbor was. <laughs> he said, Look at home, it ain't gonna work over here. I said, Excuse me? He said, Yeah, he said, You heard me? He said, You heard me? That's when he walked by, he said it the first time. He walked by making circles around me. I'm on the corner just shadow boxing. Um, that's a square tactic for other niggas that wanna try you, they'll see you doing your thing, they might say, I ain't gonna fuck with him. <laughs> well, I, 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 I failed another lesson. Uh, over trying to shout about that. You know, I got some hands. Walked right by me and told, hey, look at that. That shit ain't gonna work over here. What ain't gonna work? That shit you doing right? That shit ain't gonna work over here. And he walked on by and he said, I said, I bet he do. He said, shit. I said, you just ran her ball in the motherfucker on this shit. I gotta get, I gotta get. So I, so I'm missing something. Everybody, you know, they, they don't mind saying nothing and being square business with a So I got young. And came back around again. I said, I said, Steve, I said, say, what you say? He said, like I said, it ain't going to work over here. I said, it'll work, it'll work for me. He said, well, let's see then. Let's go. Right there in the middle of the gym, the gym, in front of everybody, me and Nate took off on each other. The guard was sitting right there on the top. I thought I was going to go to jail. I said, he didn't even say nothing. The first round, we, we clacked up, ta 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 He said, oh, that's what you're doing? That's what you're doing? I said, yeah. And, and I'm like, we going to go to this? He said, no, nah, we good. Don't worry about him. He like, don't worry about him. I ain't never seen nobody talk to the police like that. <laughs> I used to be in these bullshit camps. They don't talk to the police like, you better not say nothing back to the uniform. He like, man, don't worry about him. Come on. Come on. I said, we good? We good? That box man said, I ain't paying y'all no attention. I was, come on, nigga, let's go. And I got in there, he said, with that pop pop. You know, pop pop fight like that. Mm. I hit him with that pop pop. Hey, come on. I put my new pop. Well, I used the old school boxing. I used to look at old school boxing where everybody always posed with their hands up like this. For the fighting style. You remember that? Everybody wanted a fight style. I said, what kind of a... So I took that, I took that fight style. Cause I used to always see the old boxers way back in the days had their hands up like this to fight. I said, it had to be something to it. So I took that style and put my own little mix on it and brung it back. Come on, <laughs> you hear me? And it was nice with it. Still fighting everything. I, 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 I learned how to master styles by watching the other youngsters and stealing out the young kids. The old oh, they had Ferguson Chef. No, man, y'all don't get knocked off your feet. One of the young don't sweep shit out when you do it. Oh, they, that shit ain't work over here, school. You better get in that blender. Ferguson Chef or blender? Which one, what style you want to learn? I'm going to take the blender. I'm going to take the blender. Why the blender? Because when you get in there, you never know what you come out with. You're going to mix that shit up. <laughs> uh, Ferguson, it's a style. Uh, it's like one record. The blender got all type of mixes in it. Everything in here. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> and I learned some of everything. I'm going to put you in that blender. So I tell them, oh, nigga, jump in there. Come get in there, man. You, you want to do this, man? Because I ain't going to do no talking. Straight to the blender we go. Get in it, mix it up, and, 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 and come out with something. See, one thing about getting in that blender, uh, it's not guaranteed. It ain't no knocking out. You be in there just rocking. Shout out to BJ Bounty Hunter for finding himself. Finding himself. I'm a cap everywhere. We had a chance to get in that blender. He didn't want to get in there. We could have made some money. He would need all that money he just counted on this show, five thousand something dollars. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. When it come down to do it, you ain't ready to do it. 
I was ready to do it. I was cleaning up well just to do it. Don't throw no money in nobody's face. You know when it's cap, when you put up money and then say, nah, nah I'm just gonna chill that, cause I, I don't box. He agreed to my style. I said, we're going UFC gloves. I'm not putting on no fing mittens. Y'all almost knocked me out the last time y'all seen me in some fing boxing gloves. No, 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 no. They want, uh, uh, what's the what? McGregor and me. Mayweather and McGregor. Mayweather taught McGregor at his game. Mayweather, I'm a McGregor fighter. I am not a Mayweather fighter. When McGregor tried to jump in the ring with Mayweather, look what happened. When OG Percy tried to jump in the ring with King Carter, look what happened. Them are boxers. I'm a fighter. Don't, don't think just because you can fight, you can box, because you can't. <laughs> Boxing is a rhythm sport. You a blender. You go in there trying to blend something, he got a rhythm, he going to catch the rhythm, he going to smoke you. He just waiting. <laughs> you impatient because you blended. That means everything going, he, 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 yeah, there it is. <laughs> gotcha. Well, he's a boxer. He's a timely fighter. But I learned how to put them both together and mix them both together and we rock out together. Uh. Saying this to say this, I went down there and I had to learn what I had to learn to make it out of there. And I learned off of everybody. I didn't learn off of one person. If I seen somebody doing something I think I couldn't do, can you teach me that? Oh, oh, don't know that rule. Man, no, school, just put the lid like this, put your feet and you swing around. I said, I go in the school and be like, and then a couple of years, I'm rocking by a boy with Now I can switch. Feet work nice. Feet work nice. Feet work nice. Look at this. Oh, 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 keep it on the feet work. Keep it on the feet work. Feet, feet. Yeah, get back. I'm too, old. I'm too old for it. See, like, you know, when you're in that cell, you just need a little room. See that feet? Hold on, scoot, scoot back by that brown. Closer. Yeah, yeah. Let me show you. Let me, feet let, me show you let me show you the feet, guys. The feet, the feet is it's a turn. See, when I fight, I turn. You see that? I turn them feet. That's how I move and groove on it. I seen myself doing that the other day in the ring with King Carly on. He coned him in the ring. I dip and I swooped up out the cone on him. Real, I'm nice with the switch up game. Uh, I go southpaw, left hand, right hand. Shout out to Catfish. He taught me how to get down. Should. Sip taught me how to get down. Uh, I learned what I had to learn just to make it out, man. Not to come out here and use it. If I came out here and used what I learned in there, I wouldn't make it. Somebody, old man told me, he said, Percy, ain't nobody gonna fight you out there. Ain't nobody gonna kill you. I thought about it. I'm gonna come home and show out too. Everybody always wanna come home and show that they didn't learn something. They ain't learned nothing. They didn't learn something, don't show nothing till it's time. Boys? Boys. <laughs> all, right, all right, OG. Uh, mm -hmm. fi final question. Let's go. Um, I interviewed a guy by mm -hmm. the name of FDA Crip, also known as Big Fred. Um, <coughs> he claims he did time with you on Ferguson Unit. As a matter of fact, he said he did. Tune. What is? What are you? Where is boy from? Uh, he's from Houston. Okay, just making sure. He's, he's from Houston. Big, Big Fred is a five dudes Hoover gangster crip uh, from Houston. Um, he, he's upgraded now. He's, he's not really in the streets like that. He's doing security. Um, huh? Huh? Excuse me? He's a security guard now. Um, Rick Rawson? Rick Rawson. Big Fred. Uh, well, well, FDA um, says he did time with you on Ferguson unit. Cause what um, do you call time? Uh, when you when you say you did time with me, uh, everybody that's convicts know what it mean when he say he did time with you. What what do you call time? Uh, he seen me or he did time with me? Well, um, so let me just give you the rundown. Um, Big Fred said he came to Ferguson Unit and time out. Okay, uh, he I'm came to Ferguson County. Yeah, yes, yeah, the difference. Can, can everybody get the difference between a camp and a unit? Okay, can you break down the difference? Yes, the I can. And it's easy. The, the, the niggas on the camp don't want to come to the unit. The niggas on the camp scared of the unit. The niggas on the camp get put on the camp so they, cause they know they can't make it on the unit. Hello? He's on the unit trying to get to the camp because it's easier living out there.
Oh, they didn't tell you that part? They, wait, hold on. They, I mean, it's a lot of unseat belts that don't buckle when it's time. You hear me? Uh, now, camp is camp. Let me go on the camp. Trustees. We can be trusted. They can go outside the building and work. They tell them on the camp, keep acting up, you're going to go to the building. Oh, no, I don't want to go to the building, please. Don't send me to the building. No, I do. I, uh. He's selling cigarettes. He sent him to the building. He the one selling He the one got the cell phone. Shout to my CC. Shout to Rude Boy. Rude Boy went out there, but Rude Boy came from the building. Rude Boy wasn't even a stiff in the building. Went out to the camp and fooled them and made them at the camp think that he was a stiff in the building. Them fell for it. That's why Rude Boy would never come back to the building. He knew he was doomed for him. I heard him tell me Rude Boy said this. Rude Boy, nigga, Rude Boy was a hoe in the building. Rude Boy was no gangster. How, how you think he got out? They move all you, you know. They move all you on. You little, you little, um, you little pillowcase to the to the camp. You niggas not solid. Niggas, niggas don't belong in the building. I don't belong here. Can I please go to the camp? Well, the camp just say Ferguson for the address because it's down there a mile down the street. It's not in the unit. You get down there, you live good, do your time, clean up, snitch on each other like y'all do and get sent to the building. We get that sent to the building. That's what you do. Who the fuck live? I couldn't live on the building no more than 30 days or 10 days. I've been gone. You live on the camp. You live on the camp, man. Camp life, Boy Scouts, camping, working hard and, and talking, and the, and the laws out there treating them like they shit. And they don't know the laws ain't in the building. Them, them laws can't even work in the building where we at because they ain't shit. But they'll put them on the camp and talk bad to them out there and make them threaten me. Keep talking. You want to go to the building? You want to go to the unit? You want to get where you shut your god mouth? That same law he come in the building. You you want you want to do something? Shut your whole ass so who you talking to? You better shut up talking to me. Okay, okay, what's going on? I said, yeah, don't don't raw up on me like you tough. You better go out there and work on that camp. Camp got you fucked up with this unit. You better tell them on the camp. Don't come on the unit talking like you been on the camp too long. Yeah, you talk to them like that out here. It's grown, it's, 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 it's yeah, it's men up in here, it's gangsters in here. We let you go home. You wanna go home today? You wanna go see your kids and wife? Well, you better shut the fuck up. For you to walk up and blow holes all in your goddamn ass. Yeah. Now, think about that for your little eight. You better do your eight hours and take your ass home. But see, on the camp, they the tough guys. In the building, the law thing. They just the regular. They just wanna go home. <laughs> Let's go home. Let me do my eight and make it out of here today. Yeah, you make it, you, you safe when you make it. But Come from the camp, ain't nobody. Them niggas ain't nobody. Them teddy bears. Them come from the camp. You, know, you can tell them he must be. Where you from? He just came from the camp. That's why his eyes all big and shit. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 homie, you can go, you cut your, you cut, you cut your headlights off, my. Nigga. What are you talking about? Your eyes, you looking scared. Cut your headlights off. What's wrong with you? All right? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm all right. I can't tell. Nigga. You fighting today? What are you talking about? You talking about you want to fight, man? Just tell him, yeah. I don't know. No, I ain't telling him <laughs> like that. You better say something. <laughs> uh, it, don't, it don't matter. Well, come on. <laughs> no person right now. Oh, see, one thing about you, y'all see how big FDA is? I didn't have my picks. Anybody. He talking about. Um, well, well, FDA. He all right. Shout out to the FDA. He all right. I'm not going to take nothing from you, but. I'm not going to give you nothing either. How about that? I'm going to say it again. I ain't going to take nothing from you, but I ain't going to give you nothing either. And don't put nothing on it that you can't take. Well, he said Go ahead. that I'm guessing they violated um, a crip for... I know the situation out there where they jumped on a crip for maxing out another blood. We, we, we put his foot on him. You can't kick, you can't kick nobody. You kick somebody and you're going to start a ride. For a kid. It ain't that we ain't going. It's called rules in the game. And them camp, they politics. One thing about the niggas out there on the camp, they do more telling than anything. They snitches. Uh, they do talk, they talk on each other. They tell it on each other to get keep kicked out the building out there. You're going to get you sent to the unit. That's what they do out there. When they, I don't know nothing about the camp life, but a bunch of 
was out there tending it on each other, getting this into the building. Right. Now, do you want to talk real camp life or you want to talk that we life? Let's talk real camp life. Tell from a crib. I got a homeboy that was on the camp. His name was CC. CC worked the camp. I, uh, and we and CC put together a routine from the camp all the way to the building. The camp from the routine was cell phones and weed. Understand me? He had a whole campaign organization running outside. We get trash cans out here, right? CC had a trash can crew. He worked the trash can crew. Uh, you know your red and brown trash can out there? Mm -hmm. Well, just say every day you got you pick up the trash. You the trash man. CC was so cool when he had to, he had he tell his girl and say I got a vacant house, got two trash cans in it. We set the trash cans out there. Go to this address, give her the drop. She come and drop two pounds in this mother three or four five corners of cigarettes in the other. Uh, in the green and thing trash. But guess what? On Wednesday, guess who pick up the trash? Who? The TDC inmates. Hello. Shh. I know it. <laughs> I know it. And it's going down. It's so flooded out there. It's so flooded out there that you can hear. God damn me, uh. It's so flooded. I heard. I heard. I thought I heard a knock. I thought that nigga supposed to be coming. Uh. It's so flooded out there. You know, so much weed, tobacco. CC coming to camp in the building, meet me in the god damn me schoolhouse every day. He dropped the weed off, and I got scared. You know, I don't smoke no drugs. I'm scared. I was too scared to catch another case while I was locked up any fucking way. Uh, I'm scared. Don't give me. But he embrace it, you. Oh no, CC, what you doing, man? What you doing with all this shit? Oh boy. Well, you know, if you get charged, that's another case on a state facility. Oh man, I got a pound to this shit. What? Well, 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 well give it her, her. Give it her. Cool, her, her, cool, her. Take that down back to the house. <laughs> okay, cool. Ain't nobody gonna hesitate to say do a person or not because they scared. Oh shit, we're gonna bust that down. And this would bring me down there like a little ounce every day. We, I don't smoke. I'm living good in the motherfucker. You got some green? I let my boy, he got it for you. Man, I got commissary out the fing ass. Due to CC. CC worked on the counter. Shout out to Southside CC, Eggland G. Four word chicks. Big fat boy. Um, big, big baby. Big, big, biggest man. I got a picture of me, him, and the, and the baby. Uh, CC, man. Shout out to CC, Southside CC, man. Everybody on the South Sea will know it for real. Uh, CC put it down as a hustler in the prison system. He was the Rick Ross. He was the Rick Ross. He was the hustler of the prison, man. Uh, uh, but like they say, uh, if you didn't get away with it in the world, <laughs> come on, y'all. Come on, people. How you gonna get away with it? Hello! Oh, you think because I'm in prison I can get away with it here? Nah, there's more snitches in this motherfucker than it is on the street. Everybody named mama chilling on your motherfucker. Uh. And that's the cold get down about some things. Okay. Okay. You, was you? Go ahead. Okay. Um, so, F FDA basically said that OG Percy, um, he gets on the unit and Time out. Percy go ahead, go ahead. Um, told him that he has to get checked. Yeah. Um, he got to check in. Immediately. Yeah. Um, Immediately. And, and I'm, I'm guessing you were upset about them violating those crips. Um, uh, uh, oh, no, 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 no. And um, so you was trying to violate Yeah, because really they were on some bloody shit out there to jump on another. That's, that's weak. You just ain't no gangster be violated. Violate. You know how many times they run a violation at the camp? You know how many times they, 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 that wasn't no violation? That's that, that, that some picking on somebody. They ain't did no violation. Ain't nobody told me out there doing some shit because they think they can bully somebody. But when you come in that building, we're going to show you how we do it. Yeah, that wasn't no real shit they did out there at that camp. Right. Junk, that's a blood. Who side y'all on? It is. Didn't nobody order that? I didn't order no violation out there. Rude boy came out there and rude boy, oh, rude boy, who sent a violation to a crip out there for doing that? Rude boy, now tell rude boy, he better not come back in this building. Yeah, that's what you tell rude boy. See, rude boy went out there to the camp acting like he was a square business in the prison since he wasn't. He wasn't stomped down in there. How the f you think he made it to the camp? What is y'all talking about? Make it make sense. I don't know. Don't worry about it. I didn't 
caught up. You, you, well, you got to make it make sense. Well, he said, he said, I bet he did say. I'm saying, I know the stomp down. Yeah. But you go out there and they can act anything because them on the camp scared and sorry. They scared. They don't, they, anybody come from the building, they scared. Oh, shit, he just came from the building. He looked like he fucked in. Hey, how you doing, man? I don't want to talk. What you talking about? So don't speak to me. That's me in prison. Don't talk. I didn't think I was tough. Just don't talk to me. If I don't say nothing, you don't say shit to me. I learned one thing about prison. Everybody never wants something from you. If it's some of your time. Hello! You didn't catch that one, did you? Even if it's a little of your time. I ain't got no time to waste. Don't say shit to me. If I don't say nothing to you. That's me. That don't make me think I'm bad. That don't make me think I'm tough. I know one thing about snakes and print. They all want something. What you want? Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, man. Hey, how you doing? What's your name? So you better find somebody to play with. Oh, all right, then. I was just trying to speak to you, man. I said, man, you better shut up talking to me. Yeah, walk your ass on somewhere. Well, um, F FDA, he says, he admitted that okay. when he got on the camp, he had to announce himself to the unit. And when he got on the unit, or, or he had to announce himself to the people. Yeah, you ain't got when he got on the unit. Tell you something, you ain't got to announce shit to God camp. Go out there announcing something now and get your shit to the building. Hello! Well, he said once Time he got out. on the building. Yeah, then you better start yourself. talking. Yeah, you better start talking. Oh, you, you ain't got to announce yourself. They're going to smell you. And he said that the person he had to check in with was Percy. I'm on my way. So as you come in from the building, I hear a new crib come say, because a new nigga just came in from the camp. Crib, yeah, where he at? He down now. Where the crib just came from the camp? That's him? What's up? What's up? What's up, man? What, what, what you got going? We checking in today. We checking in? I'm, I'm going to get ready to go home. When you going home? Uh, probably Monday. I say, oh, well, shit, you going home? I'm going to go home. So everybody didn't get checked? Uh. God damn, how did you get in the trash? Uh. I had a rule. I had a rule, uh. If you was going home, go home, man. If you was going home, go home. If you fall under the rule, you know, just like um, circumstances, if you fall under such circumstances, that would apply that, that, that you know, he fell under the, the right jurisdiction at the time. Um, he fell under the, um, the, um, the two weeks go home rule um, that was mandated by OG Percy signed and sealed. Um, any crib that's going home within two to three weeks uh, is none participant and active any longer. Uh, said that to do what I want to do as far as that's me too concerned. <laughs> they, they already knew I was on some bullshit. Oh, cause you better go home, cause I don't know, get out of the way. <laughs> uh, but you can ask them, I rocked out till I left out. <laughs> Hello! I just, I'm just proud of myself. I said, I rocked out till I left out. But um, cause them did, it wasn't that, it wasn't that serious out there. You been like to go out to, to the camp town, but I'm cribbing. They gonna send you to the building. So you did meet FDA though. He was yes, I did meet FDA. Meeting. I met him for about got um good about good three or four five minutes, and that was it. I never seen him again. Uh, that's when I told him we were gonna check him. Uh, he was gone the bus a couple of days later. Uh, it was the weekend. Came on a Friday. He was gone that Monday morning. He didn't get to catch the chick. That, uh, he said, yeah. I knew him, and that's the only time I had seen him. Uh, the rules is, anyway, uh, if you're going home, go home. But don't tell me you're going home. You're going home, huh? All right. Well, you better not be here Monday. I uh, will melt Look at OG real quick. Am I good right there? Go ahead. Let's go. Um, that's that weed. Did you hear down. the story about... Uh, the black warden. Tells him a crib. Tells him a crib. I was there when the black warden pulled up. I was there when the black warden rode off. Uh, uh. When the black warden pulled up, um, black guys in the hallway felt like they had some type of sense of pride about they said, we got a black warden. Uh, a black warden? And he's standing there, he ain't with 
Like the white woman, white woman, she ain't gonna see that white racist shit. Old slave drivers, man. Old slave drivers. Old, old slave drivers. Nick ain't shit. But what he is, a slave. Uh, I don't like nobody in the white. Uh, the warden pulled up, he would talk to you. You know how niggas is. Try to convict the warden and everything. Man, excuse me, warden, can I have a word with you? Come on, cause y'all know not to walk up on the warden. Y'all ain't walked up on that white lady warden. The warden got a whole line of niggas ready to talk to him. <laughs> he be like, just, just stand over here, I'll get to you in a minute. Uh, nothing, they walk up. Excuse me, warden, can I talk to you? Come here. Cause you can't walk up on him. You just can't walk up on no warden. You can't walk, you got to tell him, can you approach him? There's always a way to conduct yourself. If you want to show the warden or any um, officer there's other law that, that, that you respect them, come to them with respect and they'll know that you're an old convict. Me, when I'm coming out to your office, I say, um, excuse me, sir, may I have a word with you, ma'am? It's the way you, excuse me, sir, sir, may I have a word with you, sir? Check this out. Uh, you started with sir, you ended with sir. Sir, excuse me, may I have a word with you, sir? Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, sure, come here. Sir, I was just trying to make sure that, um, I can get me a pair of you know, shoes tomorrow, you know, cause I, these right here have been tight on my feet all week. Appreciate it, sir, if I could. Oh yeah, what's your size? Nine and a half. Hmm. Take this paper, make sure you get your shoes tomorrow. Sir, I appreciate you, sir, thank you. You got know, uh, uh, the new wave. Say, look at the let me holler at you real quick. What he talking to? Come here. Man, look here, boss, man. Go check this shit out. You gave me some bullshit. Shoes, and I can't wear these motherfuckers, man. These motherfuckers hurt my goddamn feet. I can't work in this shit. I ain't gonna go to work in this toe up and rag shoes and shit, man. What's wrong with these niggas, man? So, what you want me to do about it? <laughs> I'm trying, I'm talking to you. Why don't you try to get me some shoes? You trying to get it? You asking for something? <laughs> oh, man, here you go. That old bullshit. Somebody lock him up. Get him out of my motherfucking face. You know how to talk to him. Hey man, what you mean? Go, that we're going to lock up. Oh, new warden ain't bullshit. Nah, he ain't bullshit. He ain't bullshit. He ain't playing with none of you coming up the bullshit. But shout out to the warden. He worked, he was a Navy SEAL. A whole Navy SEAL. One day the warden went down Ferguson Hallway and seen some white boys making saddles. What were they doing to the saddles? They were sending the saddles out in the free world and they were selling them off Ferguson, but they were using the inmates to make them. And he had a whole thing called a saddle thing down there. And so the warden come in the shop, he said, this wasn't on my resume. I didn't check none of this on my paper. Where did this place come from? Why did, why I wasn't told about this place? I know all of, about the whole, every inch of the penitentiary, all the way to the camp, all the way back, nobody mentioned the saddle. And you know, in white people language, well, they ain't for you to know. It got nothing to do with you. You just here to do warden. Don't worry about the saddles. See me on. <laughs> the next day, that motherfucking shop was closed down. The war was taking over the unit and the inmates, making sure things were gonna be ran right. Until I found out who's making these saddles, who's getting paid for these, and how they're being shipped in and out. Uh, this one told me that shit over. Well, uh, you know when you get, what happens when you get to fuck with business. You get messy. Well, the warden was a, uh, a, Na a Navy SEAL. I keep, why would I keep saying that? Because this man that swims in water, um, seas, um, oceans, rescue divers, he's a Navy SEAL. Hey, y'all ever seen go to war and be in all type of war, run through them motherfuckers, boom, bombs and shit keep blowing up and everything, then they come home and then that same get to the store and get killed at the store. Oh my God. So you just got out the army, through the trenches, all that shit, you, you can't only got, you got killed at the corner store. All them grenades you just done, all them tanks and missiles and shit, all them bullets you just ran through in the war. Came home and got killed at the store. Come on, see. Make it make sense. How the fuck do you drown in a swimming pool and you a Navy SEAL? Well, that's what happened to the old warden. They found the warden floating in the swimming pool, head up. They locked the whole unit down for like two weeks. When the unit went on lockdown, we were like, what the fuck is 
Yeah, man. Then one dog came through and told one inmate, you know, it sprayed like wildfire. You know, they found the new warden did. Until they found out who do it, you know. What do you mean find out who did it? We locked up. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody missed count calls. No count calls been missed. Y'all count us every, every hour on a motherfucking hour. Ain't nobody been missing count. So ain't no inmates been missing for him to be dead to say inmates know us. Why are we locked up? Oh, we know it. Because we didn't do it. One thing about TDC, they got their own rules too. Um, warden, you was lucky to make it to be the warden. Two, you were lucky to have your own goddamn place on the goddamn premises, but that was a curse. Big, nice swimming pool in the backyard, make it look good, and they found you laying floating in the swimming pool. Oh, my bad. He was a Navy SEAL. <laughs> uh, I, I can't see a SEAL swim, drowning in a swimming pool. I can see a person being killed and put in one or held down in one, but now nah. a Navy SEAL don't drown in a swimming pool when you done been through everything else, through war, and come home and get killed at the stove. <laughs> it don't go like that. I'm gonna let y'all soak in that for a minute. <laughs> Oh. L lastly, OG. Let's go. Um, the the day you left Ferguson. The day I left Ferguson. The day I left Ferguson, man, was um a day to remember. It didn't go down. I was just waiting, you know. I just knew uh, OG Percy gonna have his uh, going away party. Uh, got a little old bag. He finna go home. Uh, like that, and uh, man, let me make sure these. I'm making sure, bro, ain't. Make sure he ain't came up. Yeah. Nah, he ain't came up yet, man. Just the phone. Let me see something. Watch these shoes, though. Oh. The day I left first, man, I got my paper and I was sitting on my bed, man. We was on mother lockdown. That's some bullshit, man. How you gonna put us on lockdown, man? God damn, I'm finna get ready to go home. So I can't have no party or nothing to him. I can't get the big going with every, I see all the big time get going, and everybody waiting to do me some, man, I got you when you get ready to go home. I'm gonna spread for, I got about like five spreads finna be cooked by five different, uh, they finna throw down for you, boy. Uh. Sad thing is, man, uh, we on motherfucking lockdown. How the f So I'm sitting there on lockdown with Mohammed, my said, shout out to my 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 my, my said Mohammed. And uh, I'm just sitting there, we just kicking the shit like always. I'm in my own zone. And I never forget, um, we on lockdown, so it didn't matter what was going down. A man came to my door and he handed me a red bag in my hand. I said, I'll be down. And I snatched the red bag from him. I said, man, I said, tell me you bullshit. He said, read the thing. I said, I said, Demerson, Percy Demerson. I said, what? Then my city looked at me. He gave me a high five. He said, don't say, I said, don't say nothing. Don't say shit. Oh, that means I'll be leaving in the morning, y'all. Everybody don't like that. Ain't nobody paying no attention. And then one day I say, hold on. Matter of fact, when you don't like that, it ain't too many nosy on the run. And the way the boss did it when he did it, because uh, they got a way that they do person. I swear to God. Uh, that man had that thing on it. He said, see here, I know you want nobody to see it. And he slid me the bag. I looked, I said, the bag. I looked up towards him. I said, thank you, God. I said, I was <laughs> So I waited half the night. The whole day went by, you know. It's a little certain period of the night where everything just get quiet as this room in prison. This how this how prison sound. When it's locked down at night, nothing. Everybody know respect. Everybody proud. Don't nobody be all that loud talking and screaming and laughing and shit. We got people like man, shut up up there, homie. But um, I waited to that part of the time 
And this is what amazed me out of everything in prison that let me know that uh, I made a powerful impact on this place. I walked to the edge of the bars, and I see it. Well, <laughs> look like it's over. I guess I'll make me old hot shot of coffee and lay it on down. Oh, y'all don't hear me? Look out, cuz. What's up, cuz? Well, look like it's over. Oh, man, I had, I had hung my red bag outside the goddamn thing, start waving it like this. Everybody know what the red bag look like. And they say, oh, no, wait a minute. Somebody say, hey, yo, shout out to hey, yo, on Ada Street, Hollywood. He said, oh, man, this is going on. That's how his voice sounded. It was like so hoarse that he couldn't just get it out. He said, oh, man, this nigga going on. I say, um, what I mean by, um, I knew that I was a powerful piece on the unit is, um, at that moment. The whole unit is on lockdown at this time. <laughs> the whole unit is on lockdown. Um, we got a thing in the back of our cells right there by the toilet that's called the fire escape. And talk, talk through that motherfucker to the next on the other side of the prison. Uh, by the time one said I was going home, you have never heard dominoes fall down like this. <sighs> That's how my name went on the unit so fast. You can hear the beating on cell. Look out, person! I'm there yelling away from down the hall from way. Yelling away from on the other side of the got L block, uh, J block, H block. Look out, person! Oh, G, go, 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 go! You can hear it all over. I was like, what the f And I heard that shit for hours. For two and three hours. I was getting all type of kites from all down the hallway. Then shot at him and Percy going home. And it was like the impact I made on this place. Uh, don't nobody give a f for somebody going home. <laughs> and I didn't. You going home. Bye. That's how I felt when I seen walking out the door and I had to stay. Bye. Bye. You going Bye. Um. And I snuck out that place early that morning, about four thirty in the morning, five before five. Um. I said the road, told my said goodbye. I grabbed my picture book and I walked out Ferguson. And I ran down to Pop cell. <laughs> I said, Pop, she said, I know, I know, I heard, I heard, I heard. He said, man, don't get what I told you. I said, I got you. He said, write me, man, write me. I got you, man. He said, man, I love you, man. Take care of yourself, man. Take care of yourself. Do what I told you. Give yourself a chance. I said, I got it, Pops. He the only one I talked to when I left first. I didn't say bye to nobody but the old man, Pops. The old Who man. Who was Pops? I got his name on a on letter over here. Pops is, was like, like my mentor when I was there. Pops is the, uh, was the person that gave me the game on how to stay out of prison. He told me he never going home. And, uh, since he's not going home, if I can go out there and live a little life for him. Because hmm. he don't get another chance. He said, so when you go out there, do me a favor. Give yourself a chance. Cause I don't get another chance. He said, well, since you don't want to go home, and I do, can you give yourself a chance for me? <laughs> I said, I ain't think of it like that. Yes, sir. And just for me doing that and leaving, he said, you know what to do. Leave that here. Leave that here. Right now, leave it here. 
I said, what, Pops? He said, that. Lead at her. He said, because you can't take that with you. He was talking about this, y'all. He was talking about this. Leave all that her. Don't take none of it with you. And when he told me that, I left that her too. Boss. And I've been home 12 years because I didn't take prison with me. I left prison in prison. Hmm. Now all I got is a story about it. Boss. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was behind, Tune. Boss. Hey, real tone, it's some real money in the room.